Hey, it's Annabelle and happy October to you. You can see that the back is a little bit different, but can't see on top here. We have the shelves up. Prairie is here as well. Today was the blessing of the animals. So my sister and our friend that was actually visiting from out of state, they came together while Tyler and I are in the choir. It was a really eventful day for everyone. And afterwards we went out just to do some errand running. Yeah. This is the extent that you will probably see Prairie in this video. Okay, goodbye. After I went to church, I stopped by a couple of stores. First, I needed some tempera paint, which is water-based, quite an expensive paint that I wanted to do for some art research. My sister really needed tissue paper, but we'd already left. So I decided that Dollar Tree would probably be even more affordable. So we went there and ended up finding a lot of other things. Firstly, I would start with the clips of my hair. And you can see that my bangs are middle parted. And when I don't have clips up, I look like Jinx. The last time I washed my hair was on friday and i went to we know oh god thursday so it's been yeah it's been four days i go to class with wet hair all the time but because i didn't have time to dry or straighten my bangs at all it was just so wet so i just took bobby pins and split my hair and just pinned it i've just been clipping it back every day until the next time i wash my hair i can properly style my bangs again so i'm wearing really light blue ones and then they had nude this mauve red and then just pink and honestly it's kind of it's kind of cute and very trendy things i would actually wear so from the same series they also had hair elastics in the same color similar colors and i've been using hair ties a lot to put my hair into ponytails but for the longest time, I've been using these really thin ones. It just looks nicer, which is why for the last like six years, I've been only using thin ones. But then I've been noticing that as my hair gets longer and longer and I tie my hair into ponytails, it would weigh down and give me a headache because it just tugs on my scalp. And no matter how tightly I would try to cinch it in, it would just slide just because it's not strong enough. So that's why I use three or four in a row just to hold up my One, hair. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. Okay, so I've been counting, but it literally says 15 right here. What really interested me, honestly, was the ones here that are woven because it has these, what do you call them? It undulates and it just is very visually interesting to me. And I've never seen that before. I also like to use these for when I have projects and I roll up my paper and or fabric into rolls and elastics come in handy. Tyler got a pair of socks and I honestly thought that these are very attractive. Let me open these. They're just crew socks. And what I really enjoyed about it is since the colors are complementary from a distance, they optically blend. So it, yes, it is marled, but it has more of like a gray purple color from afar. But if you look up close, it's orange and blue. And it really reminds me of those impressionistic skies that you see because those vibrant colors are kind of just broken up like that. And they had three other colors some more boring like black and gray and they had another one that i really liked but i can't remember this one was my favorite though so i got these for tyler and then for myself they had you know those fuzzy socks that you just wear indoors i would honestly wear these outdoors i've never really wanted to buy them from the dollar store or anywhere that was too cheap because i just thought oh, okay you know like the fiber content is bad it wouldn't be comfortable or last long but last year for christmas i got a pair for kind of secret santa bags that's mixed with a bunch of little things that pair that she got me was ankle and i really prefer crew doesn't it look like in horton here's a who when he's looking in the in like the mountains of those flowers and from the sky he was counting one by one and this is like the entire field of those flowers just from above. What are these called? Bath sponges. They're not really sponges. Um, oh, loofahs. Thank you. Last week, we almost got one from the mall that looked like a peach and it had like a leaf too. But that one was, I think, $3, 3 or 4 So we just found tea. At the dollar store, we got two for $1. And what I like about it is this color because, you know, really matches the turquoise or the sea foam theme that one we can give to my sister and then this one we can use and speaking of soap i got a soap saver it's just a typical plastic insert that you put under the bar of soap so that you know there's 
less of a surface area that the soap is touching it's just like on like certain points so that after you use it and it's really moist it doesn't stick to your countertop and get really disgusting i've been wanting to try soap making so this is a good investment while we were in the home aisle, we came across some organizers as well and this color caught my eye. It's a lot of the art supplies I need are in shoe boxes right now. I have one right up here. They're all cluttered and they're in shoe boxes. That was actually two boxes, so it's a lot more see-through now that you can see. And it wasn't as deep as I'd like it, but now that I'm thinking about it, when I use art supplies or when I try to organize it, it's better that it's in a more shallow surface so I can actually just access things and not have to dig around. So these boxes will just be going up here on the shelf. Did you want your bag of tissue paper? My sister just came home and as you saw, I gave her the tissue paper and I got a set for myself as well because the reason why I got the tempera paint, I wanted to do some research and do a lot of mixed media art and tissue paper is a really good material that you can collage with. Then I also got these heart stickers because now that we are sharing the kitchen space and everybody wants to buy their own groceries that we don't want to mix up and accidentally eat each other's, I thought that color coding stickers and just putting one on something that we might have the same of things like that would be a good way to distinguish so these are packs of 400 so it would last a while and then from here on out this is the kitchen and the food category so i've been using toilet paper for the last few months and i'm getting sick again just because i get stressed from school so a couple of boxes of tissues would be good it says open here to make your nose happy we ran out of aluminum foil so baking with these wrapping around the edges prevents things from getting dry or burning then also grab these clips that are actually pretty sturdy because when i open up i don't know like a pack of noodles or something and i'm not able to use the entire thing in one day instead of twisting them and just like stuffing them in the corner hoping that does not unravel this plastic measuring cup because i want to do some soap making i have some materials for that and you melt it down and then pour it in the mold so i don't want to use our glass measuring cups that we measure food with this will be for exclusively for my crafting then tyler snuck this in what i didn't see he got this glade red honeysuckle nectar room spray he said that he feels insecure when he goes to the bathroom i have to get candy when i go there because i have a sweet tooth i got sour bite crawlers a pack of the haribo berries which i haven't had since i was really young this is really 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 throwback and a random giant can of tomato sauce because it's a good kind of base to add a bunch of other things in then a box of jambalaya mix it's also very cozy i like red beans and rice jambalaya and dirty rice red rice and i have no idea how this brand goes we're just gonna try it out and see if it's worth it this is the most food i've ever gotten from the dollar store and i think it's just because growing up i didn't do it often and i'm i'm not used to it but if it turns out to be nice and i'm gonna do it more frequently this is the instant ramen that i had a lot in middle school when i would come home and watch ncis i've mentioned this to you before i love to watch ncis on wednesday afternoons and it was when my parents were both out of the house and my sister was somewhere so i was just at home i had this specific brand of chow mian it's like not really and it doesn't even taste that good but it's so bad that it's good so this brings back memories one of the last things is a stack of these plastic bowls i just needed something small i need a lot of them i'm going to show you why later then the last thing that we got is a jar of pickles okay i actually made tyler wait for me to film to see what he thinks about his pickles because he's quite picky about pickles i love my pickles and i've been wanting them i personally don't really care Eat. for pickles i like pickled vegetables but the asian kind i see this, so let's see if it is worth the this $1. goes back to my childhood not bad is it because it has less sodium i think the ones at delis have less sodium i like the light ones when i was an infant i would actually like suck pickles dry kind of like a pacifier <laughs> it's like <laughs> your it's breath bad. was probably magnificent so that was the last thing that i had to show you i had a lot of fun making it as well as going to the dollar store this is like the highlight of my week just making time for yourself after after church as well like even though i have a lot of work waiting on me right now i need to go in like less than an hour to do so many things some do tomorrow i had like a really stressful time last week as you know and a lot of that i think factored in from just 
not handling the stress properly, expecting yourself to be constantly productive always results in some sort of disappointment and then that doesn't improve anything so that's why this week even though i had a lot of things in some way i forced myself to procrastinate yeah so by the end of this week i'll make time to edit this and then the vlog that you'll be seeing soon enough and then also you know to work out and then to do work so it's all about finding a balance and i will see you very soon thank you love you bye bye it's so hot in this Oh.